Yeah, it's time awesome. for the quick and dirty medical tip. Okay, so I talked about this long, long ago, and I actually put a TikTok video and Instagram video. So you know how to do that? You can go check. No, I don't no. still. I still struggle with it. But um, fish hook injuries. So you may be going out there with the speed hook. It's going to go right into your finger. How do you get it undone? Actually, this Nobody knows. have a hook on it. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's three ways, three methods of removing a fish hook. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever gotten one in there? I've gotten one. I've never, had, back it, out out I've of never had it so hard. In, <laughs> I, the, the, okay. The one that what I had. What about the fish hook? It didn't have the barb on it. Yeah, okay. So, like, it came out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at me like that. It came out, and you uh, were so hard. It wasn't so hard. But, yeah, so that barb makes it kind of a nightmare when it gets stuck in there deep. For sure. So the easiest, I wouldn't, I don't know, probably the more painful way but the quickest is to just push the barb tip end through. So you just kind of wrap the hook so it pokes back out. F you. And and then you've got the barbed end that you can clip off with some dikes or pliers. If you don't have and pliers, then, don't do that. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're going to have to pull it all the way back through. <laughs> yeah, it would be a nightmare. You just pull the whole line yeah. through. <laughs> Worth it. So that's that's the most common way. That's yeah. actually how we do it most often in the clinic. Obviously, we have anesthesia, so it's way more pleasant. Sure. But if you're on your own. If you're getting poked by the the anesthesia anyways, why not just, just push it through? Push it through. That's what I'm saying. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's the first method. The second one is the jerk off method. <laughs> no, it's I like the, this one already. <laughs> Show me how it's done. It's the uh string jerk method. So you have your hook that's yeah. poked in there, you take with the remaining loop on yeah. the fish hook, you just put a little string on there. Yeah. And you want to push the eye of the hook down close to your skin so it kind of disengages the barb, and then you just yank it out. Ow. So you're going, you know, you're you're going to probably pull some skin and some stuff Jeez. off. But that's another quick way to do it. Okay. The third way, and this, those two previous methods you don't want to do if it's like near your eyeball. Oh, sure. Near your jugular. Uh-huh. Something like that. In your ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one is by far going to be the most painful one if you don't have anesthesia, but if mm. it's all you have left is you basically, you basically, um, you're going to push that hook towards the surface of the skin and then you're just going to ins- do an incision along the uh, shaft of the hook. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you just run your blade down along it Precious. so that you just cut through the tissue yeah. and then you just pull the hook right out. Ow. That. Is your last or resort. go the fourth method? Stop going fishing. Yeah, ain't that fun? Anyways, fifth method: go to the clinic. <laughs> yeah, because we can do it. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, okay. those That's are good. the those are the three most common ways to pull. And it you out. got a video up if you, you want to. I see do. Yeah, visualized. so it's easier to see. Yeah. So just go and check it out. Okay. 